Hey guys, it's Heidi from My Bibliophile. I'm here with this week's In My Mailbox. Um, I have spent all day at the public library working on some school stuff because I can't focus in my apartment. I get distracted by books and stuff like that. So, um, this is going to be brief. I look like a bum. I feel like a bum. Um, and I have to get back to working on more school stuff because it's the end of the year and that time, um, everything's crazy. So I will try to do this quickly, but I did want to make a video because I did get some really cool things this week and I wanted to share them with you. First of all, on Twitter, I won um, from Penguin the house, the house at Tinford, um, and it says it's for fans of Downton Abbey, and it sounds awesome. It's a story of a girl in 1938. Um, it's no longer safe to be a Jew in Vienna, and so she leaves her life of glittering parties and whatnot to become a parlor maid. Yeah, parlor maid in England. Um, war is approaching. Her life is very different now. And then Kit, the the master of the house, his son, um, returns home, and the girl, her name is Elisa, I think. Elise. Elise and Kit strike up a friendship, and it changes her life forever. And so that sounds really good. I really like that time period, historical fiction. Yeah, it sounds awesome. So I did win that on Twitter. Um, my friend Jillian is amazing. Um, she is a school, uh, a teacher, um, seventh grade, language teacher, literature teacher, lit lang, I think both combined. Um, anyway, she went to the International Reading Association conference, and she is loaning me falling kingdoms oh my gosh you guys i this is oh thank you jillian <laughs> i'm so excited this comes out in december and it just sounds amazing um and so i am so excited to read it so thank you so much to jillian um i went to the city of lost souls launch party in naperville for cassandra claire's new book so of course i have my copy here and it's signed um and it was super fun it was a great event um Sandra Claire was there, and then the guy, this guy, the guy who is Jason, who oh, dropped it, that guy, he was there, um, and you could get your picture taken with him, I did not, um, you could also get runes painted on, and I got to see Vanya again, and Anna, and Lisa, and Tara, and everybody was there, and it was awesome, and we also did get some swag, we got these packs of um, Mortal Instruments family rings, so what it is, it's a set of postcards, and it's all the different wings, like this is the Wayland family ring. This one's the Lightwood family ring. So there's all different. Um, here's Herondale family ring. So it's just a pack of those, which is I thought was really neat. And they're kind of like postcardy type things. So that was a cool swag prize. And then, then I also got um, a rune charm. This one is for Fearless. I don't know if you can really see it. but um, So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I think one of my students might really like it, but I kind of want to keep it now. But, so that's my rune for Fearless. So I did get that. Like I said, it was super fun. It was wonderful to meet Cassandra, and yeah, it was really great. I was a total fangirling geek, but that's okay. And also, apparently, I forgot that I also ordered <laughs> pre I pre ordered a copy from Barnes and Noble. This one does have the the letter at the end, but I did get an extra copy of Clockwork Angel signed. So maybe I'll do a giveaway with um, signed books. This one is not signed, but instead of taking the time to send it back, I might just do a giveaway with it. So I still have not read that one yet, so don't spoil it for me. And the last thing I want to show you. Um, I believe it was last week um, I showed you the stuff that Sophie Jordan sent me, some bookmarks for my school, and Elizabeth Scott sent me a bunch of book copies of Between Here and Forever to give to our, all, hmm, to give to our local our alternative school because they don't have a library. Um, and Zoraida Cordova, who wrote um, The Vicious Deep, uh, saw that and asked if she could send, she had some extra author copies of her book and asked if, she, if we would like some of those. So thank you so much. She sent those. Um, to us and I got them this week and sent them on to that library and then because she's awesome and I really appreciate it I actually bought a copy it's a book I've been wanting to read anyway I just knew that I wouldn't have any time so I hadn't bought one yet but so I bought a copy I'm super excited mermaids but like not like your typical mermaids so I can't wait um, and then I also when I bought this one I also bought um, the audiobook of legend because when I went down to the Cassandra Clare launch party um, I forgot to grab another audiobook to bring with me and the one I was listening to ended and then I needed one for the ride home so um, I bought Legend which I started reading the book and I just never had time to finish it and I really liked it and it's a really great audiobook it has two different narrators as the book does um, and I'm really liking it so I bought those at Anderson's bookshop so it was awesome to get to support an awesome and generous author as well as an awesome bookstore and that's my mailbox this week I'm gonna get back to work fun 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 right I hope you have a great week bye